Hello, everybody, and welcome to Fortune Street. Again. It's a holiday tradition. Yes, welcome to our holiday festive home. That is you just... can't see. Play al- You could play alone. <laughs> no. Look at the advantages. <laughs> no. No crowded couch. No stretch to the max headphone cords. Don't know why. Come on, Obviously, yeah. we have four players here. Now the dog Myself, is not Phillip, playing. Uh, Besides, narratively Wilson and Francisco. Yeah, narratively speaking, we have uh, our own new person. Do we have? Do I have consistent players? Like, do I two I think person? you were using Daisy. All right. Well, we gotta do consistency. Well, I have not I'm a Berto, clue. Perpetual trans icon. Yeah, what did I say? I don't know who I've been. Was I Yoshi? You were Yoshi. Uh, okay. And now today we're gonna be going instead of slime like usual. We're gonna be fighting the Dragon Lord, <laughs> the Kingpin of Monster Kind, who would see the world plunged into darkness. True to his dastardly disposition, his shops are powerhouses of impoverishment that lurk around every bend to bring you to your knees. So that's going to be who we're fighting. Wow. I read online that... Slime has evolved. Yeah. I read it. It's, he's blue. Uh, it's important. Remember that later. Uh, Francisco certainly has a great choice of character. Yeah, don't it's not Francisco. You do. We hate Dragon Lord. Right. Boo. We don't like. We love Francisco. Yay. Anyway, they're S rank, so that's probably that'll be fine. I heard their behavior was really funny, so. Okay. That's it, the hope. Even depending on rank, does it that differ by character? Yes. Huh. So we're doing uh, the slime map, but not. <laughs> slime mania. A teardrop. Well, screw slime. A teardrop shaped island that could only bring tears of joy as its slimy inhabitants have live in a fun filled, gooey paradise. Basically, there's like benchmark behaviors they're not okay. allowed to do at lower ranks. Okay. Actually, we're probably going to do Dragon Lord for like a, the rest of it. So but is we'll this see how what you is. were saying when you had a surprise or something? No, the surprise is. I didn't say surprise, I said trap. Mm-hmm. Ah, right. Same difference. No, one of those is more ominous. It's not important. <laughs> um, well, well, I'll get into it. Uh, it'll just come up in conversation, probably. I don't think I've done this map before. I am going to view the board. As a as a reminder, in Fortune Street, you tr- it's kind of like Monopoly, um, where you buy out properties and try to except in this game you're trying to raise your own net worth rather than bankrupt your opponents as the main objective oh there's multiple squares of each suit so there's like options oh yeah those are warp tiles like in the starship mario i think you have to land on it to warp right looks like it when you land on the square um okay and then that that warp is at the top. Where is the And then the that cannon. One? Cannon allows you to go anywhere, right? Anywhere where another player is. Oh, and there's vacant plots in this. We haven't had to work with those before. Interesting. But yeah, as a general reminder, you collect all four suits and then go back to the bank in order to get a paycheck. All right. And you usually roll seven in this game. Yes. Okay. I don't remember. It ha- you roll a d6, but like... How do I roll? It can roll choose it. random things. Uh, you press the roll button. So you probably want to go right because you don't want to pay Philip. Yes. You probably want to go left because I am a good person and you love supporting me. Yeah. Alright, Daisy. One. I've gotten... Okay, well, first, first venture. This is a bad time of the game for this to happen. <laughs> Normally, I like super invest in stock so I don't have much ready cash. This is a bad time of the game for this to happen. Or she was a mistake. Uh, this is terrible. Uh, anyway, so. <laughs> Dragon Ward has an ice cream shop. That's great. Good for him. I love ice cream. Mm, so his color is dark green, kind of like. I, I used Bowser Jr. in the first year for this. Well, he's. But he's, he has the same color that Bowser Jr. His color's not blue! Dang it! I mean, the tr- his color's not blue. Whose color's not blue? Look Dragon at, the, look at the, the right. Yellow, pink, dark green, light green. So his, yeah, his color, his yeah. drops are going to be like a dark emerald color. His face is still blue. He doesn't look yeah. like he really has a color. I guess. 
I mean, what? if anything, it looks like his color should be purple. I wanted it to be blue. It's the <laughs> metaphor's root. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so fun story. Uh, I'm gonna. T His color has become darker because he's embraced the evil of capitalism. Yeah, but like the most evil color is blue. All right, so remember last stream when I was when you were like, "Oh, Philip, yeah, why are you, you sound?" Seemed, you seemed a bit off. And I was like, "Oh, it's nothing," because I didn't want to say what it actually was. Uh, so. What is down there? It's what? a district that no one's touched yet, so uh, all right. I don't you're the only one who's gone down, so. It's true. Yeah, I will say this is a bigger map, so I'm, so I think, uh, we're not. It means on the one end, it might mean that there's a higher chance that people get to all the districts, but on the other hand, it also means each district is going to be a bit harder to. Uh, so people, people aren't going to land on it. I'm much. excited for the possibilities. It seems like there's a lot of different ways you can go about this one. Yeah. And also, the vacant plots add kind of another layer of customizability yeah. to the game. I, so I, I am adamant about uh, playing the game with the settings given, right? But if we ever get through all the levels, there are set, there's a set, one of the settings you can change before you start the game is how many vacant plots there mm -hmm. are. And you could just be like, tons of vacant plots! And, like, that, like, that's, I'm always like, oh, there's so little vacant plots. I'd love for there to be tons of vacant plots. Yeah, so. But, like, <laughs> I'm also like, let's keep with the balanced version before yeah, we go into the chaos stupid version. The vacant plots, you can build different kinds of buildings there that can have different effects. Like, I think a balloon station that lets you travel to other places of the map. Or simply a checkpoint that people have to take, pay taxes when they, when they pass. Yeah, the check would probably be good here, because, like... It's a very yeah. small area where the plot is. It's true. Yeah, they just add a, a ton of variety to what you can do. Uh, you should go up. I came from up. That, I'm down that's here. A... This is my spot. <laughs> you said, go down there, nobody's down there, and then you come down. Oh, hey, look, Dragon Wolf's going down. Oh, everyone's... Everyone wants to follow the trend. You could come up now. I guess I'm gonna have no choice, right? Yeah. Oh, this is a really cool place to buy a shop. Alright, so... I'll weasel it out of you somehow. 85. It just gets money. And you're level 7. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if the dice differ by board. I wonder if the dice differ okay, by well, S rank. <laughs> or if he's just allowed to roll 7s. We're, we've rolled a seven. That's what I don't want to give me money. I really need money. It's good to move the brush the board fast at this stage. That's like... Oh, shoot. This is the wrong direction. <laughs> okay, well... I didn't realize I didn't have the suits yet. I wouldn't... I'm just a fool. I don't have any money. Not a good... I don't think... Oh. Oh, well, Dragon Lord's gonna colonize the middle. Oh dear. Yeah. What's the target net worth for this level? 20,000? It said 20, something popped up and said 20,000 at the beginning. Alright. That's bigger than what it's been before. Probably just a bigger map, more properties. All right. Oh. He did nothing. He went there. I mean, he got a lot of suits, so that's good for, good for him. But... Oh, you, that's a place where you can just buy more stocks. Okay, actual strategy, you probably want to buy st you want to buy stocks where you think the value is going to increase. Buy low, sell high. Yeah. I so... I am paying attention to what the different districts are. 11, so... I'm a finance person. So, yeah. 6 is it is very low right now, and who knows what it could be at the end of the game. Yeah. 11, or not 6, E, or, yeah, whatever the, f the first one was, uh, A. Uh, District D is the one savannah has three shops in it's kind of pricey now but there's a good chance it will get really pricey later but yeah again it's it is also still pricey now um since at, at this point stuff's pretty much gonna move up having stocks in i don't understand what's going on oh, having I stocks to... instead of ready cash yeah. is probably just a good thing yeah, it's later probably... into the game where stuff is gonna fluctuate you gotta think yeah. a bit more about keeping all your 
value in stocks versus cash yeah but early 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 game it's a good idea to have a lot of stocks because it's pretty much only going to go up from there and like you can sell socks stocks at any time okay please be something that gives me money please you're invited to play around the blocks that could be that could be good yeah this the, the slot machine productive game oh yeah so i was saying that one stream like now right like <laughs> like kind of like right now uh i was saying because uh say no here wait what am i saying now but do you want to buy this oh. shop for five times at shop value you can force a buy out i have a game of this once where a friend and i just kind of competed to buying out a checkpoint right <laughs> it was more of a meme game than, fair. like, actual strategy, but it was hilarious. Not so I'm gonna go classic. through my general classic strategy. I'll get 90 stocks in District D, my own place. Yes. I don't know if I have a place. You don't necessarily need a place. Uh, my, about you? You can do a lot of piggybacking. And, uh, again, like, as long as investments and stuff flow... Uh, you don't necessarily need your own district to win. I see. Uh, warp somewhere. Especially here, where like one big distance is so much less of the map than it was yeah. in the past. Why did he do that on purpose? No, it was randomly he'll either get warped to a like think a commission or a break. I see. And he rolled poorly. Oh. Just spin left seven idiot. Can you please land on my shot, please? This is not going well for me. Uh, I made some mistakes. If I should have turned not left right. Oh, he bought stocks in D. Interesting. Well, my stocks are probably rising. By the minute, I'm glad I got got in there before everyone else raised the prices. <laughs> I should have bought there, even though it was more expensive, because like, I could have had money now. Uh, we are losing to the AI. Right. It's an S rank, and it's a very early game. Stuff fluctuates a lot early game. Oh! Oh dear. This could be very, very interesting. If you roll a 7 like he did, I, I think you're out. Yeah, I don't have money though, so this is going to be very interesting. I like the idea of being getting things on the island, because it's kind of a meme strat. <laughs> so yeah, anyway... Uh, I've been trying to say my why I was sad for a while. <laughs> I keep getting distracted by economics. This will be good because I need also more money if I want to do anything here. So stocks. I don't actually have any stocks. I, see, I know. I know that. I know that. I know it. It's a thing I know about. So anyway. Uh, I just don't want to pay the dragon lord. I'm kind of fine paying you too. Now that there's a strong AI, I... I really don't... I'm worried about the AI winning. I don't want that to happen. My roll against the AI. So anyway, uh, right so right after my stream, right? Okay. So I said on this on that one stream, right? Yeah. The stream before, right before that stream, the day on the Saturday before... On the Saturday... On that Saturday... Oh, you can go to any Venture or Suit Square. So that, you could you could get in competition with this is with Philip in there. Great. It's also good because you can get them fast. Also, apparently, you get to pick another venture card. <laughs> oh, nice. And remember, putting them in a line can give you a little bit of a bonus. All traps charge a flat hundred G rate. Now roll the die and move again. And move again. <laughs> so that's higher for most of them. Now, yeah. At this point, right? If you go left. You go up and get the um, vacant plot. No, no, math. If one, two, three, four. Oh, never get mind. A can. I mean, I don't know how long we're gonna be stuck here. Uh, no, not at all. I guess. You can join me. You can warp. You can warp. I could warp here, and like hedge all my bets. On... You know what? I don't think I have a good chance of winning. So I'm going to go... You have all your suits, so you should probably go to the bank, though. That's true. I don't know if I can get out I of here. I would be though. closer, I think. All right. Where oh, my gosh. Oh, well. 
You got a new neighbor. Everyone's getting in there. All right, story. All right, so Saturday before that stream that I'm sad about, uh, the, 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 the Los Angeles Dodgers <laughs> managed wow. to sign the uh, Shohei Otani, the, the biggest name in baseball, and what people have been saying is a once-in-a-century challenge who is both a really good pitcher and a really good hitter. And it was really bad. That's really sad. But I prom and it was also really sad because it was right after the you can go up and get the bacon plot. So I think the checkpoint is generally the best one because basically anyone who passes it has to pay you taxes. I think it's also just a good thing for here where people get stuck on this little yeah. island. I don't know, I was explaining how everything's terrible. So mm -hmm. uh, I was I was being I was disappointed too because I promised myself if he signed verse during the live stream, I would allow myself to go on a beautifully stupid rant <laughs> where I got like really dramatic about it. And I was like, we can do it. We can do it here. And then he didn't sign during the live stream. I was like, okay. And then he signed with the, the worst team ah. and it went badly. Or you can buy someone out. Do it. <laughs> Can't be happy your checkpoint is now my property. Okay. Uh, now, was this a good... I am going to have to... St <laughs> I'm not sure if this was a good decision, but it's... it was a funny decision. I'll take a hundred... Oh. <laughs> yeah, sell I'll sell uh, a few more stocks. That's not great. So, Otani cost a lot of money, like $700 million over 10 years. Seriously? But Otani did something quite clever. And what he basically said was, I will let you pay me later. 700, it's 700 million, right? Yes. Over 10 years, that would be around like 70 something a year. Yeah, that's actually and, pretty easy, man. Yeah. <laughs> take, take it get a lot easier. Okay. So around 70 million a year. And instead, the Dodgers are going to play two million a year until after Otani is gone, and uh, so they still have a lot of money, mm. uh, which makes a lot of sense from Otani's perspective because that means the Dodgers can invest in a lot of other good players, so his team could do well. And then he doesn't really care if they're in debt after he leaves. <laughs> so, and then yesterday, with all that money they have, they still have. They went and signed uh, Yamaoto, the second best oh, player on the free agent yeah. market. Hey, free stocks. Uh, oh, that's actually really good. I, yeah. I would love that. With all that money left over, he bought he they well, they, they got the second here? best guy, pitcher out of Japan, uh, very young, 25. Signed him for 325 million over 12 years. So we, they're gonna have him for the next decade, and he's very young. Because uh, younger than most free agents, because he's in the Japan League. So that's why the Christmas tree is blue, and sadness, <laughs> and why blue is the most evil color. It also is blue because we looked up after hearing the news, and apparently, by co com po complete coincidence, it was this color blue yesterday too, when we found the news. And also, when Dad heard the news, he made like he shouted out loud. <laughs> Like, it was a pop-up on my iPad, and I was just... Yeah, I guess I may have overdone it, the screen, because everyone was frightened that something actually bad had happened outside uh, in a larger context. It did. Yes. And then we watched the uh, the Giants 2012 World Series highlight film to feel better about <laughs> ourselves. Oh, uh, my friend made a, uh, don't ask why, my friend made a PowerPoint presentation comparing a bunch of our friends to major cities in the U.S. You were San Francisco. Wow, well, I did it. Uh, I would like to know the logic, though. He, he said Google. I don't know why, but I'm like... Hmm. <laughs> well, because I'm a CS major? CS Possibly. Major? But, Possibly, uh, yeah. I quickly made the connection. Oh, yeah. Giants. The, the Giants. I'm just okay with losing. I'm okay. Like, I'm not gonna win. I, I've given up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can certainly help the AI not win. That's true. You'll see a lot of pink on the board. It's not good. 
Well, I mean, it's just an observation. I'm not making a moral judgment on whether... I have decent has shops a, in a couple areas. Decent uh, landlord. So anyway, the, you know, the dragon ward and the, the He's dramatic... He's gonna steal money from everyone. Oh my god. I swear, like, he's been rolling a lot of sevens. So the Dragon Lord represents the Dodge. <laughs> That's why I wanted him to be bluer. Mm. Oh, I see the connection. So, back on Philip's topic. Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, signing those two players makes the Dodgers much better on the field right now, but it also is a big investment in the future. In the sense that, you know, the, um, I'm watching the game. In the sense that the, um, you know, Japanese, or Japan, baseball is very big in Japan. And now, you know, the two most popular players from Japan and America will be playing for the Dodgers. You know, the Dodgers are going to be huge in Japan. Kids will be growing up. Rooting for the Dodgers. Their dream will be to come to America and play for the Dodgers. And so right. it's, it puts them in better and better position. They're now the, the team that people think about when they're coming. Oh, so they, but I wish they have become a little bit of the bad guys in the American Congress. Yes, that's true. Like the Yankees again. <laughs> I'd much rather be in your position than mine. Although I'd much rather be in any position than mine, so yeah. that's not saying one. And you have stocks in every district, so every single place. Well, because I got you, those five. Yeah. So I every single so place you, that. yeah, every single time you want to, you have the money to invest, and every single time you invest, uh, you uh, get the stocks go up. So yeah, but on the on the plus side, it's not as big. Uh, it's a bit of a unfortunate kind of we're kind of in second uh, place in this, but you know we got we got the biggest guy from Korea. Okay. Uh. There's a bigger risk than the biggest guys from Japan. Korea is generally considered a little bit less of a league than the Japanese professional league. It is. It's not as good. It's definitely a risk, but it's not nothing. Uh, it's it'll at least uh, get. It's it'll at least generate uh, some amount of interest. And if we're focusing on the positives, there is. What positives are you talking about? We have Lee. <laughs> we got Lee. We we have we have uh, we use the we use the Korean guy. Okay. Uh, again, it's not as developed as the league, so it's a much bigger unknown. But we do at least, and the market isn't as big as Japan's. But we will have the uh, Korean market. Hopefully, for a bit. have the biggest Koreans. will become the biggest Korean star in the United States, which will yeah maybe benefit us in the future. There's also the possibility there have been Japanese to stars before, but there hasn't really been a well-known big Korean star, which isn't great for us, but might give us almost more of a, you know, I'm trying to focus on the positives. So Lee's a bigger gamble because we don't know how well it'll translate here, but he also, he's still very young. He can, has a lot of time well, to adjust. He's 25. He has a lot of time to adjust. I mean, unfortunately, uh, Yamaoto is also young, so he has a lot of time to adjust. But Otani is uh, 30, so he has less. You're going to get less time, good playing time over out of Otani. Although they'll still get the uh, recognition from him. And they'll still get a few good years of really good baseball out of him. Uh, he's probably still going to be the best in the game for a bit. I love Monopoly. So I've played Monopoly, like the real Monopoly something. <laughs> Speaking of Monopoly, um, in the true spirit of Monopoly, a woman um, actually designed Monopoly kind of as like a this is why capitalism is bad kind of deal. And well, you're still uh, to buy then the some shop. rich white dude uh, basically stole it yeah. uh, and then claimed it as his own and made up a story about how he invented it. And thus he got copyright for it and kind of redesigned it into a game showing why, cap why uh, capitalism is good, actually, and buy and invest and all of the extra, like, rules and stuff about 
Is that where hotels come from? Probably. So notably in Monopoly, you don't want to buy hotels. Because it's actually a bad investment. Because little bits of the original game design are still in there. Mm -hmm. I guess that's probably why it's such a mess of a game. <laughs> Uh, but what about the and so the primary strategy of old Monopoly and still new Monopoly in tournaments because it's still baked in the general design of the game is uh, to try and block people. You want to block people out. Mm -hmm. And what a hotel does is it gives it, it's a big fancy property, but it puts houses back on the market, uh, which means it's only really beneficial to do. If you've already got a stranglehold and you can replace those houses somewhere else very very quickly because right. you don't win monopoly by if you just go for the hotel and get try to escape the biggest amount of money from landing on your space it's a very unreliable strategy and it leads to long games with like people just not dying but if you stop anyone else from making their own little districts and cut throat them cut them out that's how you actually win the game, and it also makes the game a lot shorter, almost like it was designed to play this way. One of the saving graces is the Giants are, very, are still very young. It's kind of the whole vibe of the organization. We've got a lot of young people that could be very good, or like have done very well in like the minors and stuff. And so we have a lot of things that could go well, but it's very uncertain. It's just a very scary place to be right now. Yeah, it might not be a... Really great here. Although hopefully Lee and some of the young people will make it an interesting team to watch instead of a you know, train wreck of a team to watch. That was an interesting team to watch when it was winning. Yeah, and that uh, got pretty frustrating. Then it became misery. The checkpoint still hasn't paid off for me yet. Cool. Nobody's been to the center since you bought it. It's a very... I, I called it a meme strategy earlier. It's... If it happens, it'll, like, be big. It's hard to say. Definitely bird over there have the... I have like three more properties than anybody yeah. else by a long... By a large amount, I think. And you have, like, more almost districts, too. And you have and you have two districts right next to each other. I don't really have a strategy at this point. I'm just going. Yeah, I am not thinking... Other than just vaguely to get the suit cards. Yeah. I do not have a strategy at this point. Normally I, I haven't thought of a larger strategy. Normally I at least have like an idea of what I'm gonna do. But like, I actually don't know what I'm, where I'm going. Maybe that's part of the bigger map. And I think I could let both of those go to you. If you give me the one in the bottom left, that would oh, complete my... Um... That would be an interesting trade. I might have to do that out of desperation. Because right. I'd, I'd like, very much be happy to get you back into the game. Yeah, I feel that makes it more interesting. At 1964, I don't feel like I'm playing. Yeah. I'm just yeah, well, around. Next... I'm not gonna lie, I would not do this if, if I wasn't desperate. <laughs> I know. Like, I know. This isn't a good deal, but I don't have a lot of options. Oh, I'm already on the. I'm on the <laughs> That's program. capitalism. I don't have options, so we, we, we just have to go for it. It's kind of a it's, it's crummy situation. And hey, it's a lot better for me than trying to whis trying to weasel one of those out of, I think, Dragon Lord. <laughs> yeah. Something in one of mine. I don't think the S ranks do a lot. Of, they're pretty hard to line on the deals. I mean, and we are on Wuzzle. This is a terrible... This is a terrible trade, <laughs> but... Well... The... <laughs> The point of this is this whole event is to have the, fun and meme around. The point, <laughs> yeah, over the this holiday special. So you, um, out of desperation, you take a less than ideal deal, which screws your opponents over as well. Like the other, joke. other than the one who took advantage of you clearly. Yeah. So. Right. No. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh. uh uh, That's, that is total domination, right? But when you have the tower, nice. yes. Do. I didn't. I, I I wasn't paying attention. I didn't see the cutscene. Yes, you got you got you are the district. Oh, yeah, yeah. and that, that, that I I I I hope you can get that Just, last shot. I can't help but notice that the first thing you got was blue. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dodger blue. I have a feeling is Savannah lying with the Dodgers. 
because if I buy the Dodgers, it actually this just... might be the last time they're invited over. If that's the case. <laughs> hey, if I buy the Dodgers, I'll yeah, you buy the Dodgers I'll do something advantageous totally to you. I can, them. I can, I can, yeah, they can uh, just just just, just take a... them like. This collapses. Oh, Trade oh, shot. Such show, an accident. Like I, I Tani and uh, I, Yamamoto for Lee. Let's have a trade. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sure. No. How about Otani and Yamamoto for uh, for Wisely? I think that this <laughs> seems like a nice play. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, you're gonna have to negotiate with. They don't have anything to give you. Well, wait a bit, I guess. So immediately, yeah. your trade is paying dividends, Philip. Oh, not for you. Not for you. <laughs> thank you. Oh, I'm just saying. Thank, thanks, thanks, Dad. That's really comforting to I hear. Wanted, I, I really want to put you back in the game. I hope that you can get that shot. No, it's... it's Come back, it's sir. Come back, sir. It's already enough. Look at how big my net value has increased just from having three. <laughs> just from having three. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Problem was I invested all my stocks in the the eyes. Mm. I I gotta focus on getting myself a promotion and some okay. some cash before I. You have you have a lot of stocks in various places. How'd you get a hundred in some of those places? Well, what I bought. Right, yeah, that's I true. Good ninety nine plus five, yeah. Which one is the one that Savannah just took over? Uh, uh you'll that she... one e. It's e? a good one to invest. It's relatively low right now, and like it's gonna skyrocket. The thing it's about getting yeah, getting the whole district means basically blows the roof off of uh, the max no capital. Real, yeah, there's no really limit to how much I can invest anymore. There is, but like it's like thousands of do, of, okay. jo, of G, and you can like double. You can like raise the stock price of like ten gold in like one move if you have the money for okay. it. It's so true. it's gonna be difficult for me to even buy in. Yeah, and you want to buy in. I, I really do. I will say again, like you don't need a full district to win, and you've got a lot of stock. Mm -hmm. But here's here's the thing. It was if the checkpoint, if people get stuck more often, the checkpoint would would, would will make money. But as is, it was a real a lot of money to go like the buyout price for that checkpoint was a lot of money, and that gave you a lot of money. Everybody... I buy a lot of stocks, and then. Those stocks like dribble down, like the like the price mm -hmm. I get out of those stocks leaks down because I have to sell them because I use all my money. But you got so much money by basically getting a thousand dollars for that checkpoint that mm -hmm. arguably won't even is that might not even pay off for Savannah. And that was so much money that you were able to fully invest in stocks and never had to sell them. <laughs> and you and you could and you have a smattering of shops around the board. And now you just have a t you're like you're really winning the stock game, and you have a lot of by two yeah, by two thousand. Way to go! It was for the meme. True, he <laughs> says true. It's for the meme. Uh, but like you're winning by two thousand stock, and you have a lot of stocks that people are probably gonna want that are probably gonna go up later. I'm not good at the game. I just want that checkpoint. <laughs> it's okay, because it's a very interesting in my D and D game I'm playing. It's a it's a big shared world, right? That's how part of the mm -hmm. super cool thing, and so part of the thing is different DMs in this room value money differently. Hmm. Okay. So in the ask the GMs chat on Discord, someone is like, "How much is a gold piece worth?" And they're like, "Oh, five hundred dollars." And a copper piece is worth five dollars. Okay. And then we have my DM that treats it more like around one dollar. Mm -hmm. So now every so now to be a bit obnoxious about the raw deal I'm getting. <laughs> just every single time I read on a Discord message or I hear a gold price, I'm like, that's a lot of that's and I translate it to American dollars. Oh uh, last I, I played D D yesterday, uh by our group and had a um rather interesting situation with a door. So our wizard goes up to it, um there's a door, it won't open, and they say they want to investigate it to see if there's like a lock on or anything. They're rolling that one. Door stuck. I don't know, door stuck. So they um, go ask our um, cleric to check it out, who rolls a three. Door stuck. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to do about this. Door stuck. <laughs> no. So then they ask me over, what who rolls you... a nat one. I wonder if the door is... Door what? stuck. I don't know what to tell you. I've done all I can. <laughs> it's just stuck. So eventually, our paladin busted it down oh, with a morning star. 
it was it was uh not locked just <laughs> it was just mildly stuck yeah and it wasn't even like like jammed or like no one had done anything. there was someone behind it like pushing it closed all right okay i get to i also decided you know what even though it didn't happen directly in the stream i think that oh we bought oh whoa what is that bought you out me out who uh mr paulson yoshi yeah, now you have five hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> you could buy it out, but you don't want to do that. That's why I'm putting it. No, you're on edge. You're on yes. Oh, it defaults to <laughs> you, Yeah, it default. It assumes you don't want to buy them out. You know, in general, I like it when really the fun. AIs are stupid and not really a um active uh, hindrance. I've heard that this guy can make really dumb mistakes, though. Hmm. It's I've he I've doesn't heard. seem to be. Although, it's if not, he was yeah, no. that gung-ho about buying you out, I wonder if oh. he just likes buying people out. I think that might well, be one of the herd. So, while Otani might be a once-in-a-lifetime thing, that's someone like Yamamoto might be available next year. So, I, there's a chance we could get someone. Uh, another uh, Korean guy who's been very good, uh, ha Seung Kim, uh, for the Padres, is going to be available next year. And Tasyon Kim is both a friend of Young Hui and likes our manager. Yeah. We just we just poached the Padres manager this mm -hmm. season after we fired our own manager because everything <laughs> collapsed. Anyway, it, was all, it always felt kind of hopeless this year to sign people because we fell apart so hard and it makes our team look like, oh, we're not going to win if we choose that team. Mm -hmm. So if we have a good enough year next year and we might be able to get some more bigger names next year and... Well, I guess not. We're definitely in the nightmare timeline, but we might be able to squeak ahead better than not ahead at all, but like being a relatively. It might not be all bad. Well, well, it's bad, but that doesn't mean we don't have options yeah. moving forward to improve ourselves. I think that's actually a good lesson. Kind of like your situation in the game. Uh, I don't yeah. know what I'm doing. So if you press A. Uh, press A. Oh. Yeah. And it just goes up by tens. Or because something? you 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 already have two shops in the area. I see it. Uh, or you might be just driving up the price. It's kind of hard. You know, like Aaron judged it with the. Uh, but that still has ready cash, and I'm just like, if is I driving up the price, or am I driving up the price? Oh, uh, uh, whoever chickens out first just drove up the price for the other one, right? Well. I don't want to eat out of my stocks, so. Yeah. I'm doing this because I need more money to invest in stocks. I have I'm not going to be the one to pay I that. Have, I think. <laughs> I just press the button. Nope. I don't know. I'll try one more time. I won't go above 500. Let's see what he does. He goes above. Yeah. All right. That's good. You drove up the price from him. For you. Oh yeah, you probably have price from well for him to pay for you to gain. Yeah, yeah. I think you might actually be in a stronger position. You don't have the shops, but you do have. You've been very good on the stock game market. Game. Well, yeah, but I don't have my shops aren't that strategically located or clustered to increase the chances of people landing on it. Yeah, but what I'm saying is your strength is your ability to piggyback off of, off of other people. Remember, you just have to get to 20000 and get back to the bank. Yeah. If you can piggyback, if you can use your stocks to piggyback off of people, uh, all, all like, through, like, because you can get a lot of stocks places and then piggyback of people that are obviously going to invest on their own district, that might be enough to, like, get you above faster you're so diversified it's hard to crash you that's the thing about the district i uh is that like, if we get a lot of stocks in an area we can try and crash the stock market just to delay people or something we've done before you're diversified and like you're playing instead of the so we're all playing the property developer game i won't i don't know what dragon Wars is doing honestly uh we're playing the property development and you are playing a game of you're playing like the stock investor, like the the stock, the broker. I guess, if you say so. I think it's a good. I think it's possible. I think you have a good chance of potentially winning it. And you've had the highest net worth for a while. I have, but I don't think I'm the best position for the long 
Oh, if we were playing to 10,000, maybe, but to 20,000? Hmm. I think... I think before you think that... or So, you're getting another option to invest a lot of money. I think... And you have the cash. You have so. the cash to easily do it in a thing... Which one should I invest in? There are several. It depends. All right. So, do I want to give you the full rundown? Yeah. So, this Dragon is pretty expensive right now, but Dragonoid is... Uh, it Basically, you want to invest here if you think the AI is going to do well. But it's very expensive right now already. The AI already has the majority of their yeah. stuff there. It's clearly where the AI is hoping to invest. And so, the big unknown is how good is the is the really hard AI actually. And so that might be the place to go there. So if go down here. Uh, this is a pretty unknown district. It's the closest bet you have of owning a district, but I don't think it's a super high bet. I wouldn't invest in a burger personally. with uh, Dragon Lord. And we don't know how well he trades and probably won't do well. This is one of uh, Savannah's uh, districts, but it's not the main one anymore. That's and it's probably not going to be the This is the main one. And it's pretty cheap right now, and you already have a good amount of stocks. Now that Savannah has stocks in it, it will be relative. She might start actually upping property values, and I think that before you count yourself out, you should see how much uh, your pro your stocks actually go up after so a property. Try this. Uh, can we go? Th I like to go through the rest of them. Uh, uh, not that one. Probably not that one. This is where you'd invest if you like. Me if you think I. Everybody. It's a also yeah, fairly low, yeah. but it's okay. And the last one, it's District I, yes. <laughs> it's District I. I needed to I. check it's, that. That's all. District I'm just gonna I. Try this guy. I think going, yeah, going really hard into E. This, I think, before you say, I don't think I'm gonna do it. I, th I think you should see what happens when so when Savannah actually raises the property values in one of those places. Then I'll land on it. Is what'll happen, and I'll have yes. to sell all my stock. Well, you have stock other places you can sell. That's the beauty thing. You're diversified. But do I want to buy this one out? Mm, I would go against it. If you... you Here's the thing. If, if I had the other one already. Yeah. If you had the other one already, maybe. And, already, and also, if you didn't have such a strong stock portfolio, if this felt like the only way you were going to get back in... No, no, no. You're on yes. You're on yes. Oh. Remember, it defaults to no. It doesn't. This is the second time you've almost accidentally bought out a shop. It's, it's very stressful. Well, that was cheaper. That one wouldn't have been as bad. Yeah, it wouldn't. It wouldn't have been bad. You probably would have, but you would have had to sell stocks. Yeah. And I think it would have been at a different point if you were at a different point in the game. But I think your primary strategy is going to be stocks. So the question is, do I have faith in myself, or do I just go all in on? These are still pretty young, and I'll probably, and I'm probably about to land on one of them. No, I'm gonna go past them. You know what? I, I am going you... to believe in me, because I could try and piggyback like. You don't believe in me? No, I do. <laughs> I actually do believe in me. Too. That's the problem. I, but I'm deciding right now that we're gonna actually go all in on me, and I'm not gonna do because i could I'm fight for that last square I, i'm gonna try and actually do my own district i'm going i'm going all in on that strategy it might have not been the, the directly smartest move but i'm like you know what i think i'm gonna go if for you it. can wrestle a couple out of the top as well you could have adjacent ones but that might be pushing it wait where'd you just go it just oh. teleported me to the bank oh well, i can... can buy some stocks Long time no see. Can you? <laughs> I can. And here we go. Strategically, you should probably go in E, but if you want to go for... If you are in the middle, you could go all in on the middle. <laughs> Strategically, this is probably the better idea, though. You could also wait to get more stocks in the area, because it'll be harder to buy. Oh, okay. So, I just want you to pay attention. Uh... Stock prices there just went up by how much? Ten, and you just went up two thousand. Yeah, but if I land there, I have to pay thirteen hundred now. Uh, so well, my, if I happen to land on those, I lose my investment. Well, you get a commission, and you can sell other places. So the good thing is you don't have a lot of that. Your value is not heavily in stocks. <laughs> not, it's, it's, no, it's not heavily in shops. So, right. that's a stupid see, thing. that's that's losing your shop value prices. 
uh, so all of the shops have gone down, but you're still, but that's not going to affect your, your, the amount of stocks you've invested in the junction district. Okay, it's nice to actually be in the game, but I'm not really very in the game. <laughs> 2000, I don't have great options. Invest in anywhere, you probably want to invest in Savannah's district. Even though it's expensive now. That's true. I mean, all right, if you think... You just got $1,000. Yeah. Yeah, it might, this might be the last time to, to go for it, right? Like, right. go for it here, and then, like, after that, diversify more in the future. No, don't do that one. Why would you do this? See, it was a good time to go in. If you get past yeah. Savannah's district, I think you have a good chance because you are already at 14,000 now. Because wow. that's how fast the game goes when you well, have... You're just pretty much guaranteed I'm going to... Money makes more money. Oh, maybe not. So. Yeah. Yeah, you go past me. 30G bonus. And the other thing is, Dad has put himself in a position where it's very hard to crash him. You earn, earns, oh my gosh. 20% dividend on that one. 70,000. Oh nice my, no. 70. The game's going to be over. I, We're about to go out of business. Yeah. Th Not we take over the channel. Uh, what we know how I got fast. All right, come on. Blocking you. What? <laughs> if you finish the row, it's, if you finish the row, it's, it's two hundred out G to you. Well, I guess my only place to go would be to block you next time. No, no. That's my choice. Because it's too yes. you know, it'll take too long to start a new. That's true. So you just knocked me down. It knocked you down. You're like still at seventeen thousand. <laughs> You're still at seventeen thousand. And the other, like the, what you're putting in, is you can't invest in that district now. Or, if, if you want any chance of winning, right? Like, you have to, alright, you have to try and get us on one of these, but you don't have all the shops there because of Dad's one little awkward shop. Oh, that's still a lot. You might want to go all in, because... All in this one? Wait, no, Savannah, no, he still has stocks in that district, too. He has stocks in everywhere. Yeah, but there's several of them, I only have five Should in. Should I just... just so you, know. he, you have 65 in that one. We'll do that one, then. What, what? You have more stocks in that district than he has. In this one? Yes. That's one of my five ones. Like, that's what I'm telling you, Dad. You are in a very good position. I believe you. I'll continue to believe you. I thought it was like Monopoly, and you had to get Monopolies to... It's not quite Monopoly. Uh, especially when you have the stock market. Savannah is selling her own stocks. Because <laughs> that's the other thing, yeah, right? Yeah, not yeah, only... Yeah. There are ways to stop you, but they all involve handicapping ourselves. So, like, we can't stop you without cutting off our feet as well. I see. Very much win off of... Oh, my. Oh, my God. Um, so... All right. I suggest... Okay, here's, 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 here's the thing. Yeah. I am going to make the pitch that you invest in my district because... Which one is that? Uh, it, uh, down one more, down one more. Age. It's age. Because Spanish district is, is, is expensive, you have a lot in it already, and uh, more importantly, I am desperate enough that I am not going to stop trying to develop that district. Whereas Savannah is desperate and will probably try to stop you, to will stop investing in the district to try and cap you. I am going to keep going in that district so because I need it. I need, it's the only way I can get anything. All right. I was selling this shop. It'll be almost enough to cover it. So the annoying thing is if you, so if you, so if I auction the shop, I get this money. If I sell the shop, the bank gets the money from the auction, which is very annoying. So you think this guy has no stopping limit? Uh, I, th I think it's st the stopping limit is fairly high at the very least. I don't think it's no so stopping limit. he makes limit. risky moves. That's probably why he's considered fun to play okay. with. 
I think that's what it is. He does risky moves. Like buyouts and I think you have a thousand out of options. Like I wonder if he'll go up to a thousand, but I'm not sure that's still not like a Oh, it wouldn't even cost Dad that much because he still has a thousand ready cash. <laughs> so like it wouldn't even get to his stocks until I like... Interesting. Okay, he stops here. I don't know if that was a good idea, but I just wanted to see. Yeah. And you have you, have, limits, you have so much money that that is not even a big setback for you. Can I have that shop in the upper right in District H? Oh, Here's so that thing. would give you the Monopoly in there? That would give me the Monopoly, and that means... So I have, what? I need it. I really need it. What else would you have to offer, though? I only have those two shops up on the top. Here's the idea, right? You are already invested in this. I really don't want to sell stocks because that district is all I have. And if I'm if I just keep pissing away uh, shops, I'm I'm running out. So My what are you pitch, offering me? I'm offering you the ability to give me that shop. Because mm -hmm. here's the thing: if you give me that shop, property values are going to go up, your stocks are going to rise. That might get you really close to winning already. Might. I believe you're voodoo economic. <laughs> it's not voodoo. You gotta give me one of those. You gotta give me the. I'll not give you. I'll you gotta give me that other shop right there that's highlighted. Fine, I'll give you one. I'll give you one. Yeah, just give me that one. Okay, go to man shops. Make the deal. You're saying this pretty much guarantees I'm gonna win, right? Uh, it well, if I guaranteed you win, I was gonna, I wouldn't do it. But like, I will say it puts you in a. I'm doing this out of desperation. I think it will genuinely be good for you. Jeez. I'm not trying to pull one over on you, if that helps. Like I have sometimes in the past. <laughs> uh, like I'm not trying to pull one over on you. This is genuinely a good deal for both of us. Well, but total mostly... domination for Daisy. That doesn't sound. Good. That's what they call. It doesn't family. sound good. Are you being a hard on her because you yeah. know you can? <laughs> well, I should get. I should just give you a shop. I don't. That's, that's true. Good. But like also, tradition which we're operating. That's with. true, but on the other hand, you've given me the ability to invest in here. I think this actually like ben genuinely that invest like I want to see. Oh, stocks. Oh, huh. Uh, so I think it'll only rise when I actually invest capital. Yeah, when you invest some capital. I actually thought it was gonna rise off the front of it. <laughs> Why do you stop landing on his jobs, dragon away? He doesn't need more money. Not that much money. It's, a, it's about the principle of the matter. I'm going to auction off this shop before I'm forced to get rid of it so I can have somebody cash to survive going through the Dragon Wards district. Uh, I, just need to, I just need to get to the bank, get a promotion, and then land on a square where I can invest in my own shops. There's nowhere good for me to invest. So I'm going to have to... Best. We're kind of in a catch for too. We're basically stalling because there's no way to stop Dad. <laughs> well, maybe. I'm just realizing an advantage to, to buying in with the AI would be that the AI isn't going to strategize around keeping, yeah, it's true. keeping you down. Oh, wait, you still have a lot of stocks there anyway. Oh, he's selling. He's, uh, he's, huh. He was already right. going into massive debt for that. Oh, right, yeah. So it's your turn. Another thing where he's just going like one, two. Uh, yeah, you need to all in anyway. on the, the risky dealings and stuff. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, well, I feel like you pay an asset of two gold per unit of stock that you own. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's gonna like wipe me out. How much is that? Oh, that's like 12. Oh, that is a lot. I would sell a shop. Sell a shop? Because you have quite a few worthless... Like, sell the shop in the middle. Or like one that's not doing anything. Just to make it so you don't have to sell as many stocks. Like, so how much will that shop get you? Now you can sell some stocks, probably? I'd say sell some and see. Are you actually going to go for it? I don't know. There's I think some it's advantage. Just... I mean... Yeah, but like eight hundred dollar. <laughs> this is just gonna go bad. It's not worth the thing, and you have a chance. Like if you, if da if like if Dad gets hit like really hard, you're the one. You're the runner up who might be able to get in, get it, get back up. 
I forgot. I keep rolling. I'm just like, oh, I should roll. And then I keep forgetting I need to actually roll. And then I need to... <sighs> well, this is bad. So you can't completely... Now I... Now? He just picked a random card out of nowhere and it ended up. It was a random, yeah. yeah. I have seen cheating yeah, AI in these kinds of games. I'm definitely falling. It's pretty much oh, well yeah. documented. Because I, I have to rely on a lot of luck. Not on a lot of luck. You have to rely... So we are also doing our best to keep you down. You have to yes, like that. you are. It's if we were going completely... If we were more night... I think if we had done... If this was, if this had happened like your first game... Well, this might not have happened because we would have been talking about it. But we wouldn't have known. Because there were definitely... A, I, I'm talking about this like this because there have been a few games where we like go all in and then like it collapses. Yeah. Uh, and like and like I've had the experience, so I, we're more experienced now with how the stock market works. So we're playing it a bit smarter. I was I was gonna say um, it's uh, it's pretty like clear that um, in Mario Party Superstars, the AIs know where hidden blocks are. Oh right. Because, like, there have been strategies of them using custom dice blocks or, like, skeleton keys to get into seemingly, yeah. like, it seemingly random spaces, and then, oh boy, it's a hidden block. I will say, your fear of the AI taking over has not happened fruition. He's just been good enough to, like, be okay. a potential thing. And again, next time, I'm remembering, invest in the AI, because the AI is always going to... Doesn't have the presence of mind that we have. Now, now more, <clears throat> uh, more so, I'm just interested in seeing how he works compared to Slime. And right. trying to figure out if he's doing anything that we Anything can't. but a three. I hate you. I I hate video game. You know what? I have a, I, that The auction gave me enough to take this. And you got a 29 commission on it. I have 1,327. I have to regain some foothold in this district. I'm barely holding on. I mean, it's cool that I'm getting stuff here, but I need to go to the bank, like, now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of opportunities for venture cards, and those might just teleport me somewhere, but... I... And you haven't you haven't invested in any of the stock in that district, yeah, so that didn't yeah. work out very well. I need some kind of bid break that'll allow me to invest in that district up there. Sell stocks you want at 35% above market value. It is a good deal, but, like, they're already not worth, and I, no, I'm going to stick with, I'm going to stick with this. I just need a big break. I'm just thinking to myself, what if I hadn't turned the wrong way at the beginning of the game? What if I had listened to you, and I bought stocks in the island, now that Savannah's investing, or would they not have invested in me if I bought stocks? There? Probably not. The only person you know who would invest, even knowing you, is Dragon Ward. So you'd have to go in on Dragon Ward. Yeah. The winning pair must pay you... Oh, so you are the winning player. What a shame. <laughs> Alright. Alright, if I can make it through the death district... I hate this game. Screw it. Screw it. We're not winning. This was a futile effort. I don't know why I bothered playing video games stuck here. I mean, you're getting more ready cash. That a thousand gave you a lot. Uh, yeah, you, I definitely see. Yeah. I have not made progress in a long time in Savannah. So ever since. Up. Ever since we. You can invest. My in here before I. Yeah, before you since can. I don't have it. Yeah. Before Dad gets to the bank and puts all of the stocks in the island, capping you again. Stuck out here. Yeah, we're all in a bit of a jam, I think. The Dragon Warriors. Bit of a pickle. But you're still my progress. It's not as much, but oh, like you still. Her name is Speaking of pickles. Oh, nice. You're very sweet. You of want... course, as long as Dragon Ward keeps doing stuff like that, then you might you're still making some steady progress. Oh, that's two ones in a row. That seems. Don't buy it out, because that would be bad for you. No, no, no! You're no, doing it again. No, you're doing it. 
you have a ton in E. And E became a dead end once Savannah started thinking strategically. And right. you only have to sell 16, so never mind. That invalid never I don't need further argument. I had more arguments, but you don't even have to dump E because Savannah's kind of Alright, so Savannah now So the question is, do you think you could in But I'm gonna say Savannah is almost caught up to me and they have some structural. I am going advantages. to be on that island for the rest Here's of the time. But it's not hurting it's you. It's an infinity But it's not hurting. That's, that's true. You were at like 5,000 and I was at 17,000. Here's the thing, right? 11 to 14. Just have... sitting on the island has been improved your position quite a bit. If if Here's, here's, here's the thing. That, this, right. this has been one of the most interesting games we've played. <laughs> we have a lot more strategy now than past times. If you manage to like get back on the mainland, the demon slime in the background. Yeah. Uh, yes. If you manage to get back on the mainland, you might be able to invest a ton in your shops. Both you and Dad will get up to twenty thousand. It'll be a race mm -hmm. for one race. That's the. That's possible. That might be like a desperation point. I or we could just let's see what happens when I auction off everything. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing. There is. Yeah, there's no point in anything at this point. I might also go bankrupt. That's a possibility. I actually don't know what happens when I do that. I, I think it's just then whoever has the most net worth. So you want to drive? You want to? You want to bid? You want Dragon Lord to bid up so I don't go bankrupt? Because if you go bankrupt right now, I then or you don't want me to go bankrupt too soon. I'm getting people to buy in on me not failing. You... Oh, Dragon War just doesn't want this one. My main disappointment in this game is the checkpoint hasn't actually meant anything. Hey, no, you mine the checkpoint, put Dad on the map, which has caused this game to get very, very interesting. So... Mine is H. You have 104. Oh, okay. So Savannah still can't invest here without... Well, they can. If they invest... So, again, they can, inv yeah. they, they can invest there safer because it's not a thing but it will once again become a race definitely took me my time is running out see i was at 17 now i'm at 14 yeah. the strategy i'm playing is slowly draining me well it is a little bit of my fault because i it was really lucrative when savannah was investing fully so you it's drained you but it's savannah could have gotten i think without you there savannah could have easily won by now she's still granting ground but i think she could have easily won by now that's my yeah. hypothesis and I have not ever gotten really anywhere. Yeah, sorry buying into my district didn't do much for you. To be fair, it didn't hurt you very much, so. Well, this, this strategy has been, it had its shot, but to right. me, I didn't get enough uh, breaks to make it. Yeah, I will say you guys, you guys completely stopped investing, so I made no stock gains, and then I simply had. To I would say we kind of just slowed the entire game to a crawl because now no one's. Yeah. No, no, yeah. this is very interesting. I am doing this. Oh my, he's. Oh. This it's is interesting. What his limit's going to be? He's going to tank his stock. I'll go to fifteen hundred. It's probably good that you don't. Well, whoever wins, who? Oh. Because either I get that, He heard you I say, I'm going to 1,500, and so he stops at 14. The AI are taking over. The AI can't... Yeah. Well, I get, I get the shop, or he becomes a money sink. <laughs> you know. So if you have total domination... I will say, again, Dad has less stocks in that area. You have no stocks, but, you know. Yeah. All right, right now, I now, like, go all in. And then go to the bank, you might be, like... Mm -hmm. Well, the stock price is rose, so... Okay, that... Nothing changed. I'm, yeah, no, nothing changed. I think you do H or I, either. I think both are good ideas. Well, then, I'm doing I. Yeah, I's gotten expensive, so my purchase of stocks is going to be... continued to lessen. I mean, you can... You can take... You can try and take on I. Yeah, that was what I was thinking, because I'm a little light at I. I wouldn't <laughs> like that gonna go all in because my only hope is for stock prices to go up so i have no source of income because of my properties yeah or such that they'll pay out very much you're at eighteen thousand. you have more in i than yeah. dead going all in on i okay see what happens
Okay. You're raising higher, but... <sighs> that is... All, I have all... to get all the way around. The only way I get anything is to go all the way around and get yeah. all my thingies again. But so does Savannah have to go all the way around, too. We've had some really fun games. It hasn't been as many yelly moments as some of our past games. But it has been a very strategically interesting one. It's been more memes. Yeah, there have been more memes, but I've really enjoyed this. It's 36 right now, so you only have to pay for it. That's the other thing. Every time you're like, oh, you have to pay a lot. And then like it's like four stocks of a really high value stock price. I'm like, oh, yeah, you have a lot of money. But my last time around, I went down. Like, to get all the way around, I went. I lost like 4000 Right. So you lose a lot of money going in, but then you can invest more when you get back, and every and you stop other people from investing. Turns out this H district is just a money sink. <laughs> I'm glad I put stocks there. You know, all I can think of is you might want to dump. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna dump H. Oh, but H is already. H is low. H That's is already one... so low that like it doesn't even matter if you dump it. I would dump it. I guess it would be my choice to dump it. But if I dump it, then. Savannah can put all their cash into it at no at all right. the opportunity to them. I know you're in that it's, district not I'm because it's district, profitable. It's just so, so... that Savannah cannot <laughs> invest in it without <laughs> helping me. Oh my god! Okay, so I should dump it though because there's no reason for me to be in here, and it's not helping me. So I'm dumping it. Oh great! I get to go to the island. What a fun experience for me. It's almost freeing to not have to worry about potentially winning. All right, so where's Dad at? Um, he's he's at it. He's... Okay. If I can make it around, but they're you know I still got to get past those. Savannah does have like a thirteen hundred dollar shop that I'd have to scroll right. through. Oh, but she's selling that. Oh to yeah. So I'll see. No. That lowers you down. You're really close together now. 10 ready cash away. The race is on. I'm also there. I'm just so low. My my, my my numbers are all years. Did anything interesting happen in 1855? So you don't have to do anything. You just have to get there now. But if I land on anything, like right now, now I'm below again. That's yours. Oh, this is mine? Oh, yes. I keep thinking because it's pink. No, outside is district. Inside is owner. You can remember with the unique mnemonic, outside is district, inside is owner. Got it, nice. <laughs> I'm going to buy this checkpoint. I have no idea what this is going to do. Well, Does, but you will pad Savannah's account. I'll pad Savannah's account. Right? That's true. Which means they won't go below. Go ahead and do it. It's no, funny. but like, but. okay. Because okay, right so, now we're both where land on the wrong space, we go below. And this won't situation. do much to the property values. It won't. So my idea is I, I'll buy this out and then they'll go. All this would do was make, would determine a winner. And right now it's a race. So it's more interesting for me not to buy it. And I'm, and it doesn't actually help me win. It's kind of down to who can hit high rolls. <laughs> we'll go I think you might win, Dad. Because the man just got stuck on the island. Well, we don't know. If I roll a three, then... Oh, you're true. Right, because if Savannah lands on that cannon and goes to you, then it'll even up We're the race. the same space, yeah. And then that ends my turn, and then he goes... It'll be, uh, I don't it'll really be down to the rolls. How fast the rolls go. Be a good way for it's all luck-based now. I, it's all down to the like dice rolls. No, I could still go below by... There's, I've got a bit of a gauntlet to get through that's going to put me below 20,000. It's a full-on race. No, it's not a full-on race. It's not full-on because you could, there's still... You I'm to gonna, make it through. There's a very likely chance that I drop below, significantly below. There's two but even But here's the thing. You get like $1,000 when you land on the bank anyway. And if I land, I don't have to go back to the bank? No, you don't have to go back. So if you just sell... And you can sell stock in that... So... I think, I think it's gonna. I think even if you land on it, of course. If I think it's a straight on race because even if you land on one of those buildings, it's unfortunate. But you have high value stocks. You could probably just sell a few in the AI's district. Keep shop expand by thirty percent in a district picked at random. Did 
district A. I think because even if you land, if you land on the 1720 you run, right? You land 1721, you sell a few of the AI's shops, you might be below, but you go to the bank and you get it. And even if it doesn't get it there, you can do some investing at the bank. But I just rolled a one. Yes, yeah, so it is. giving a lot of low rolls. No, I'm saying that is bad. I'm just saying that it's a more of a straight race than you're letting it off to be. Dang. Oh, yeah. We could buy any owner shaft or vacant plot. No. Last shot, you can get like a seven. It's Does never it happened. really matter because Savannah what? would have to have a very bad roll not you're right. to the bank next time. You're right. Stop here, right? Yeah. I don't think there's anything. Yeah, there's no way. Is there it's anything? Got to My chance is a low roll for uh, Savannah. Don't buy it out. Don't, don't, don't. Do oh, shoot. Why did he? Oh, my God. Right. <laughs> okay. Oh, I did just... I? You guys were chattering, and I wasn't paying attention. Sorry, sorry. I was whispering, times. buy it out, buy it out, buy it out. Oh, now I feel. I was, I had. Taking my. Uh, wait, wait! Don't sell shops. Don't sell stocks, because you can sell all the AI stocks. It's still not that much. I distracted you, didn't I? Why wouldn't I sell a shop? Uh, because it's not going to be worth that much for the bank. And just I, check how much you can sell. Of I the can AI sell. Stuff. Can I sell? If I sell stock, do his stocks go down? Can I sell some shops to get back above twenty, so I have a shot the next turn? You can't. It would, have to, it would have to be... I can only sell one and then I have to sell stock? You can sell shops, but, like, you can't sell sell more than them. You can only sell enough shops to get you up to zero. So your net worth would increase. I say sell the sell the AI stock. Which one does that be? Yeah, B. Uh, sell all of them, because at that point, that yeah. you don't want uh, that... Oh, wait, no, I was saying sell 39, because now you're... Never mind so 29 shocks, that'll be a decrease in value. Yeah, that... You have... You're still close. It was still a matter of the dice roll. Even if I hadn't screwed up there, it's still a matter of whether Savannah gets the We've dice roll. We've stressed out about this all... Like, all, <laughs> this has been happening, like, all day, and it's come to a head. It finally happens. Even yeah. if I hadn't... But... Okay, Even if I hadn't made that boneheaded move, it still would have wouldn't have mattered, because Savannah has the next dice roll. And if, I will give you this. And if their dice roll gets them to the or, bank, they you're right. Won Savannah. no matter what. Yeah. Here's the thing: if Savannah misses, then I have a shot. And you auction a shop, I will bid for it to give you a shot. But don't won't I go over just landing on the bank? Uh. Or does that not count? Oh, wait, no, you're right. You're right. You still have if a I'm on the bank and... That actually didn't do anything. As much of a fuss as we made, it didn't do it. <laughs> you're right. So, but if I'm on the bank, I don't have to leave and come back, do I? You don't. That's, that's my question. You do not. Okay. So now this is the roll for the game. What do they need? A, do they need, need a four? Yes. I'm, I make it to the bank first. <laughs> and what's that? He stole our wallets? Alright, here's the die roll for the game. Well, I would still have to... Oh, got it. Just enough. Woohoo! Good game. I hope that the mic, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Yay. That was a lot. I liked that. <laughs> that was a long game. I don't think we played the twenty thousand last year. I think I've. It's it depends on the board. So. Yeah. Yeah. So last like last year we were on a really small board, so it was a quick game. It's like only. Well, like I I don't have any recollections of ever being any quick games. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's Fortune Street. Uh, look at that bar graph, though. Like spike, and then everyone doing their best to stop you, and then the race. Oh yeah. That's cool. Look and at look we, at my bar graph. Look at the yellow. <laughs> There's where I was close, and then I followed Philip's strategy. There's where I went down. <laughs> no. And then his, you can even I followed see the same the strategy. And bought out the shop. Uh, it was a strategy that just took too long to develop. The strategy too long was to develop. I mean, the, no, the strategy was Savannah investing, so Savannah strategically delayed so that they could pop in. Right, and I had that run of like four in a row where I had a one or a two while I was yeah. racing. So the race didn't, yeah. 
which didn't play out very well. Oh. That was... But I think that was a good game, I think we could say. Of course yeah. it was, yeah. Not as... Ex- I mean, I think the one yeah. real positive thing come yeah, out of this for me... Yeah? I don't have to do this again for another year. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't mind uh, experimenting with more AI choices or just keeping with uh, we're gonna Dragon keep, Lord. We're going to keep Dragon Lord. Putting a narrative right? around it. What do you think happened to Slime? Or was he... Dragon you know, Lord Armenian? invests in his stocks early while he's investing in it. And then they can be something... Well, he's if he starts losing, yeah, he can sell for high value. Without... It completely tank his stock. Uh... You know, slime just has accumulated enough in this profiteering that he's gone on a nice, long, relaxing vacation. The other thing is, uh, I have the ability to turn any AI to S wing, so we could just make mm. really hard slime. <laughs> but I still think the individual character quirks yeah. are being like really high risk. Yeah, that's uh, fun. Yeah. Um, happy holidays, everyone. Yeah, how about it is? You don't actually hate this game, do you? No, I'm having a good time with you. <laughs> there you go. I hate games and, and fun in general. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. We'll be back here next year for some more chaos. And we'll be on, we'll be live in like, how, we'll be live in like negative three days for you guys, so. <laughs> and positive four days, because that's how a week works. It wraps around and keeps going. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for everything. Uh, Go Giants. Uh, Capitalism is bad. All right, bye. I have to go and turn it off. There's still a chance I knock everything over. Oh, shoot. You almost did. (laughs) Almost got it. What is it? It's a blooper at the end. No, I don't need to put it in a blooper. We'll just redo the outro. That's, uh, bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Thank you for flying with the flight ship.